Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Trent and I appreciate you coming to watch this video. If you have been here before, I appreciate you coming back. All right, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Arrow Hunter Kite and the Arrow Hunter Merlin. Now the Merlin is a brand new saddle for this year. Very lovely indeed. And the Kite, I've not had for a super long time. I think I got it in late August and then I got the Merlin in late October, thereabouts. So, I've had a lot of tree time in both of these. I hunt a ton. I've got what I feel is a good grasp on which I prefer, why I prefer it, what one can do over the other, and so on and so forth. So I'll just give you a head-to-head -head comparison. The very first thing I'm going to do is compare weight. So for the Arrow Hunter Merlin, I've just got a my draw weight scale. I'm hoping it'll go low enough to weigh this. <laughs> Nothing on the ground. I've got 2.50 pounds. Golf clap. Golf clap. Now, before I started this, I fully expected the kite to be lighter, but actually holding them in my hands, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Oh, hold on. Got to reset her. And for the kite, I've got 2.10. So the kite is just barely lighter. Wow! which is actually really impressive to me considering the material difference between the Merlin and the Kite. There's a whole lot more material going on here than there is here. And this is only 0 0.40 ounces, I guess, lighter than the Merlin. Alrighty, let's compare fit. So this is the Kite. And one thing right off the bat I don't like about the kite is you can't unbuckle the waist belt. You have to open it wide and then step in and cinch it back down. Ow! <laughs> Another thing is these leg loops down here don't have buckles either. They use a square three bar or rectangle and it slides inside this. So they go together like this. Nice for safety, but it's kind of annoying. As far as how it fits, see there? Spoken! I mean, it fits fine. Walking in, it's not bad. The one thing I really like about the kite that the Merlin didn't have is there's little straps here on the side. And you can tighten them down for when you're walking in and it kind of keeps the saddle really tight to your body. So there's a lot less sliding, it's form fitting. And then up in the tree, you can adjust whether you want. So if you're sitting, I tighten them down and it kind of cradles you more. And then if you're leaning, you can loosen them up and you lean easier. And I'll show you that when we get up on the pole. But that's how the kite fits. Now the Merlin, where it blows the kite out of the water, it's got a Raptor buckle for waist. Uh, the bridge on my Merlin is standard with the Merlin. It's a webbing bridge, and actually, I don't know if I necessarily like it better than the Amsteel bridge, but I like it just as much as the Amsteel bridge. It's just as easy to adjust. I don't have any issues out of it. Ooh, that's chilly on my back. You're as cold as ice! Loosen this bridge up a little bit. See, just a quick, simple, easy adjustment. All right. Now the Merlin, fortunately, is already set up for my big butt. Raptor buckle. Easy on, easy off. Like that a lot. And the legs are Raptor buckles as well. Easy on, easy off. Ow. Now something else that the... Man, I just got stabbed by a thorn. That hurt. Something else that the uh, Merlin does way better than the kite is its level of adjustability. You can slide the bridge on big loops. You can slide the leg straps on loops. I guess a lot. I mean, there's just way more adjustability overall in the Merlin compared to the kite. So I think the Merlin's gonna fit a wider range of guys a lot better. Now, 
Let me tighten this bridge down real quick. I'll show you how the fit looks like. Alrighty. There you go. You can see, I don't know if you can actually see, but it is a little bit looser on me. Now, it doesn't go anywhere when I'm walking in. I mean, I don't have any problems with the sliding down or anything like that, especially with the bridge and the belt tightened. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Normally, I have um, pouches. I have fleece pouches that I carry on this, and it still doesn't have any problems sliding down. Alrighty. So, I'm up in the tree in the kite. Or, well, <laughs> up on my phone pole. My old basketball pole in the kite. A uh, couple things right off the bat. Remember I was telling you about these straps on the sides? Well, this is where they come into play. I'm mostly a leaner. So I tend to run these straps as loose as I can possibly get them. It's just more comfortable for me. That's something the Merlin doesn't have. Where it incorporates that adjustability though is in the adjustable leg loops. So you can run those lower if you want a little less pressure on the bottom side or higher if you want a little more. Uh, overall, I like the kite a lot. It is a, it's a comfortable saddle. I really think it's best suited for guys that lean. Even with these straps tightened up, it does give you more of a sitting feel, but it also gets tighter around your, your thighs and under your butt. Alrighty. We're in the Merlin. So right off the bat, the one thing I like about the Merlin over the kite is it's pleated. So there's a lot more material to cover you. So right now I've got the bottom of the saddle under my butt and then the top of it comes up to my middle, well, low, low mid back. And what that does is it allows, I mean, I have so much more upper back support this way. It's more comfortable to me to sit long-term this way as compared to the kite. The kite is kind of like sitting on a bar stool. It's plenty comfortable, but this is more like sitting in a reclining chair. Way more comfortable for long-term sits, especially when you're hunting, you don't want to be moving around a ton or doing a bunch of stuff. I just think this is going to be the better option overall. If you're a sitter, all you have to do is stand up and adjust this down a little bit. Or at least this is how I do it when I want to sit. And it becomes more of a hammock style. That's it guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Um, if you like the content, please don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.